My name is Tiana Lee, and whether you asked for it or not, today you are going to be learning a little bit about me by learning about my past, present, and future. First, I'm going to choose an item from my past that represents who I am as a person today. Next, I am going to choose an item from my present that represents who I currently am and what shaped me into who I am presently. And finally, I am going to show you a item that represents my future and who I plan on being and who I will be. This is my brown bag speech. First of all, everybody is shaped by their past. It shapes us into who we are. So the item that I decided to use for my past is my wheelchair. Now, obviously I've been in a wheelchair my entire life, but growing up as a child, I was really insecure about being disabled and I didn't really like being disabled. I felt different, but it has definitely, definitely shaped me into who I am. As I continue to grow older, it made me more confident. It made me stronger and it made me understand who I am as a person and what I want in life and what I deserve. So my wheelchair, is definitely something while it is a part of my past present and future um i got in a wheelchair when i was a child so that is why it represents my past and it helped me grow as a person so this is my first item secondly with everything going on in this world it is truly important to understand who we are presently and where we stand in life and that's why for my second item i decided to use this little totem pole uh it is a bear and it's meant to represent spirituality and growth and healing and just spirituality and i chose this item because presently i am really focusing on practicing spirituality and growing in my spirituality and understanding who I am and growing closer to God and building my faith and building my relationship with God and the universe and spirituality and fighting for what's right with everything going on in this world. Um, I'm really trying to stay connected to the universe and the spirituality and everything. And so that is something that is currently very, very important to me. I am focusing on that a lot with quarantine going on right now spiritual spirituality is what is keeping me sane it's built my foundation of who i am and that is currently who i am but that is not all that matters because we are shaped by both our past and our present and who we are in our past and our present identifies who we want to be in the future and that is why for my final item i chose this item this is a disability empowerment pen and i got this from something called the abilities expo and the abilities expo is basically a convention that happens once a year where a bunch of uh, people with disabilities gather together and we get to see all these cool events and, and new technology and new advancements in the disabled community. And the reason I chose to choose this pin is because I am fighting to be a disabled rights activist, but not even just a disabled rights activist, but a human rights activist. That is my goal. I am going to become a civil rights activist. I fight for what's right. I fight for every community out there that is dealing with injustices that are being ignored that are just not getting the love and attention and support that they deserve and so that's why i choose chose this because being disabled and making sure the disabled community is heard is a big importance in my life but not even the disabled community just every minority out there i am going to be a civil rights activist and that's why i chose this pen to represent my future so now that you guys got to know me a little bit you guys got to learn about my disability and how that shaped me into a who i currently am now you guys got to learn about my spirituality and how i'm using spirituality to grow as a human being a good human being hopefully and finally you guys got to learn a little bit about my future how i plan on becoming a civil rights activist and I will fight for the rights of everyone whose voices need to be heard. I hope you guys enjoyed the speech. I can't wait to hear yours. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye.